Today I got a brand new Lenovo ThinkPad Yoga laptop. I'm going to do some upgrading and some cloning. I'll show you how to do it. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I got a brand new uh, Lenovo ThinkPad Yoga L390 laptop. And I'm going to do some upgrading and cloning on it. Uh, Obviously, the first thing I'm going to do is some cloning. It's a two-in-one convertible. These yogas are pretty nice. Um, it's pretty snappy the way it is. However, it's only got four gigabytes of DDR4 memory and 128 gig M.2 NVMe SSD. I'm going to bump both those up a little bit. I'm going to add another four gigabytes of memory because it does have two slots in it. And we're going to get it up to eight gigs. And I'm going to increase the 128 gig SSD with a brand new Western Digital SN550 Blue um, M.2 SSD. It's a one terabyte, so we're going to add a lot more storage to it. And let me put it back over here. These ThinkPads, these Yogas are really nice, very popular, very well built. I like it. Um, it has some cool features. Here's your power button. You got micro SD card slot. You have the USB port. Um, you got the mini display port port over there. Over on this side. We have your HDMI. We have a USB A type port here. I believe this is all this is also a charging port. You can plug in like a phone or something to charge in this port. And you have your USB C power adapter goes here and a USB or yeah, USB C and another USB C port there as well. So it's got a lot of functionality. But as far as the cloning, what I'm going to use to clone is I'm going to use a free Acronis True Image cloning software. It's um, for the Western Digital, the Western Digital version. Now you can download this right from Western Digital's website for free, but that version from them is only going to work with their drive in the loop somewhere. You got to have a Western Digital drive, either inside or outside. So I'm just doing the cloning to show you how to do it with that software. You could easily do a clean install on this if you choose when, once you put the new drive in there. But before I open up and do any of that, I am going to clone onto this drive here. Um, let me get this open here, guys. And I'm going to use a really nice adapter to put the, this new drive in. I'll show you. So here's our new drive we're going to put in. It's an NVMe M.2 drive. I'm going to use this USB slash enclosure here. We have these all over the shop. Um, use them here and there. Primarily when we clone here, we use our cloning station over there because we do a lot of cloning here on any given day or week. So you just slide, it slides open. This adapter, I'll have a link down below where you can buy one of these online. Um, it accommodates all the different sizes, 2280 all the way down to 2230. There as you can see, 42 and the 60. So I'm going to go ahead and put our drive in here. And it pops in without any tools. There's a little rubber grommet right here that just kind of holds it in place. And once you're done with the cloning, you can also use this for an external drive if you put a SSD in there or the one you take out. So I'm going to pop this back in there. Going to plug it into a USB port on the side. Any port will do. Now, I've already installed the Acronis. I don't want to bore you with all that. Just download from Western Digital, install it. Make sure you have your Western Digital Drive hooked up or installed. So I'm going to, you know, so it'll, so it'll work. Just open the program. Pretty straightforward to use this software. Whether you had a lot of data on here or no data, it doesn't matter. It's still going to work. This is a new computer, so there's not a lot of customer data on here. So the cloning process won't take too long. But once it's cloned, then I'll open it up, put in the new SSD and the memory. And when it comes up, you just simply choose clone disk. It is a touch screen, so you can touch it as well. But I'm going to hit clone disk. Now it's going to read the drives and accumulate data and information. All right. So you can do automatic or manual. If we do automatic, let me uh, let me see how it's going to proportion our drives here. So here's our source drive, the 128 gig right here. I'm going to hit next. All 
And here's our Western Digital one terabyte showing up right here underneath the USB interface over here where the other one is NVMe. Going to choose that for our destination, our target drive. Just hit next. And if you do have a lot of programs or data, uh, you might want to disable as many programs as you can running in the background, anything that might be in your task manager or your systems tray down here. Go in there and disable whatever you can. Don't run any programs during the cloning process. So you can see that this is what we're going to end up with when we're done. Lots of free space, so I'm simply going to click on proceed. And one thing I, I want to point out, I should have showed you, but a lot of these new computers, um, Lenovo's, HP's, are being shipped with drive encryption enabled. If I go over here, I'll show you. Well, it's preparing. I'm going to go over to start here. I'm going to go to settings. You're going to go down to update and security. Then scroll all the way down to the bottom here where it says device encryption. This one's turned off because it gives me the option. It was turned on, but I already turned it off earlier. Um, when you do cloning like this, you have to disable or turn off dr drive encryption or it simply will not work, the clone. So you can turn this on when you're done. Cloning, turn it back on, no big deal. But always check that first before you start the cloning process. <clears throat> Device encryption is basically BitLocker. So we're going to let this get going here. It shouldn't take too long. And when I'm almost done, I'll come back and then we'll get inside and put in some new parts. I'll be right back. All right, guys, as you can see, it's just about done here. That whole cloning process, mainly because there's not a lot of apps and data on here. It's only been about three minutes, four minutes. I just don't want to bore you staring at that screen. So this should finish up here momentarily. And then we'll unplug this, remove it from the, from the enclosure here. We'll get inside. Make sure you check out some of my playlists on my channel. I got lots of videos on cloning and installing SSDs, but a lot of different cloning methods. Again, I'm doing this clone here today on this lap just for demonstration sakes. Uh, if you choose to do a clean install, you can re-download any necessary apps right from Lenovo, no problem. So it says it was successful. We're going to hit OK, exit the program. And if I, in fact, oops, I didn't want to do that. If I go into this PC here, okay, it's not going to show up. That's okay. I'm going to unplug the drive. Thought maybe it would show up in there, but we're going to hope we got a good clone. I'm going to shut down. Once it's all the way off, got a power light right here on the side. Oh, a couple of blinks, and we're good to go. So I'm going to flip it over here. And you can use a number zero or a number one, but a number zero Phillips screwdriver works really good on these screws. Now, on these types of computers, the screws themselves, they stay attached into this bottom pan here. They're not going to come out. Don't panic. Just make sure you get them all unthreaded. I've already done that ahead of time. They're nice and loose. And there's one over here in the corner by where the pen is. We're going to take the pen out. It's an active pen. We don't need that. It comes with the laptop. There's one screw in the corner right here that sometimes will come out and sometimes it won't, but it's a very, see this time it, it actually came out. Sometimes it'll just stay in the hole like the other ones, but it's, it's got a weird funky thread on it, so don't want to lose it. We'll put that back in when we're done. So make sure all your screws are nice and loose. And before you get inside your laptop, guys, always make sure you're protected against static discharge. You don't want to be zapping your new computer. Use a wristband or whatever, wherever you have to. Now on these, the, the seam runs, you know, between the palm rest and the bottom, it runs right along the edge here. You want to be careful putting your tool in, in, the, si in the side over here, because um, around these ports, you don't want to be bend, bending this chassis around where these ports are. So just be conscious of that when you're putting your spudger tool in. This is plastic. Don't use a metal screwdriver, please, guys, because you will booger up your laptop. So sometimes I'm going to just try to get it right in the seam here just like that. You can see how I got it in there. And I'm going to just start sliding it along here. And that's totally normal. I'll hear it clicking and popping. <clears throat> get it broke loose. There, 
now that I got it started, let me flip this around, sorry. You can see how I got it kind of broke loose here, okay? So I'm gonna put my spudger back in here and then just start, because this bottom piece is gonna lift off. But don't, don't, oop, don't be prying and doing this if you can, because you don't want to damage anything on the top side. Get my hand back in there. Just trying to do this so you can see, but again, around around these ports and stuff, you just want to be really careful with your tool that you're putting in there. And it's already starting to lift up. Just like that. And along the back here, oh, get, up, get this out here. You can see how it's opened up here. Just carefully get a plastic tool in there and just kind of work it loose. Just like that. When it's not coming, just double check your screws. Make sure your screws got unthreaded all the way. Don't don't be forcing it. You gotta be gentle and take your time. Boom, popped right off. And you can see the screws are staying right in the bottom cover there. All right. So now we're inside. Here's our four gigs of DDR4 2400. Now this model, this specific model, will only support 2400. If you put a 2666, or whatever in here, it will work, but it's only gonna read it as 2400. That's just the way this motherboard is. Um, so I'm gonna add another four, four gig stick of DDR4 2400. No sense in wasting 2666 or 3200 when it won't even see it all, or the true speed. So we're gonna put that in there, guys. But before I do that, I'm gonna take a quick second here. I'm gonna disconnect my battery right here from the motherboard. This plug is gonna slide back. We don't want any juice in there while we're working. So I'm just gonna get a hold of this guy here and just unplug it, just like that. But as a quick added precaution, I'm gonna open it and find my power button on the side here. I believe it's right over here. It's right here. I'm just gonna press it in a few times. Make sure we got all the residual juice out of there, okay? So just push the power button now that I've done that, oops, sorry, buddy. Me in my wheelchair, huh? All right, now I'm gonna stick the RAM in there. Just like that. And over here is our M.2 drive. They're using an adapter on this 2260 drive here, as you can see. It's a very short SSD. There's a screw right here we have to, because they got it mounted as a 2280 with this adapter attached to the drive itself, which we're not going to use that part. Let's get my screw out of there. And just kind of lift it up a little bit and pull it out just like that. But you can see how they use an adapter on there to make it function like a 2280. So we're going to get that out of there. And get my drive out of here. Everything went well with the clone, it should boot right up. Got to carefully put it, we're going to leave that little heat pad they have on there. Plug in our new NVMe Western Digital. Make sure it goes in all the way, which it did. <clears throat> there, got that in there good. Um, got the new memory in, we're going to reconnect our battery, and once you reconnect your battery, be very, very careful. Try not to touch anything or don't drop any tools or anything in there. You could also update the Wi-Fi car if needed. Um, I can't remember, I don't know if this has Wi-Fi 6 or not, but if it didn't, you could add a Wi-Fi 6 card over here. So let me go ahead and hook the battery back up, guys. Got to get it lined up in the notch there. There it goes. And I'm just going to use my little plastic tool here to push it back in. Make sure it goes in all the way. Otherwise, you'll have to take it back apart and hook it up. There. Looks good. All right. So now we've got 8 gigs of RAM and a 1 terabyte NVMe SSD. Let's put this back on. 
carefully try to snap it back in place. Always be careful when you're squeezing your laptop. Remember there's a screen under here. Don't squeeze it too hard. You don't want to damage your screen. Just going to snap it back where it's got to go. All right, let me get that screw down there. Try to pull that down a little bit. I'll go through and tighten all my screws once I'm done just to make sure everything went good. There we go. It's the clicking we want here. All right. So let's open it up and hit the power button over here. So yeah, this enclosure, so I'll have a link down below where you can buy one of these. These are very handy. Now this particular model of enclosure or adapter only supports NVMe M.2 drives. If you want to get one to do, I think I have one over here for a SATA M.2 drive, you can get one like this. This has the B key or you need the M key for the NVMe drives. This accommodates all the different length SSDs as well, but this would just be for a SATA. M.2 SSD and you can see it's booting right up and for the customer we always will make sure it has the latest newest version of Windows 10 the 20H2 um, let me just go in here real quick they ship this thing Now this has got the 2004 edition of Windows 10. We'll get the 20H2 on there, get all the updates, but now all the Lenovo stuff, all the factory drivers are still installed. Um, should be good. We'll uninstall the Acronis, of course. If we go into the task manager real quick, go to performance tab, here memory, there's our eight gigs of RAM, 2400 megahertz, two of two slots are being used. And then finally, on this PC, here's our one terabyte new drive we just put in there with a lot more space instead of being almost half full already. So yeah, nice little upgrade for the customer. Um, appreciate y'all watching. If you like it, give me a like. If you loved it, you can give me a sub. Check out more of my videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.